Now, this is a uh, semi-regular feature here on uh, on Flow Grappling. We, we like to uh, shine the light on some of those rising stars of Jiu-Jitsu. And uh, we're going to take a look at Jessa Khan, right, Chase? Yeah, and again, this kind of makes me laugh that we're calling her a prospect still because I feel like she was a prospect at purple and then briefly at brown and now at black. But it's, it's been because we've been following her since she's like a blue belt. It's so, true, yeah. but it's, <laughs> it's always a, a big jump as you go in each level. And, of course, the biggest is, is to black belt where you can face competitors that have years of experience at that rank instead of maybe just one or two more so technically still very much a prospect and this was her debut let's put let's put on yeah. the highlight so jessica yeah. on, uh faced off with danielle kelly here on the prelims at who's number one and really really demonstrated her sort of fight only for the kills very submission minded uh approach here hell yeah, now uh, this this was definitely a great showcase of, of Jessica Khan's uh, no-gi grappling skills. And, you know, uh, we've known her more for her gi uh, accolades because she's competed a lot. She is like a no-gi Look at that knee bar. Champion. I mean, credit to Daniel Kelly right there too. That was Very tough. tough. Yeah, yeah she, she fought out of some really dangerous positions. You know, Jessica was on the attack nonstop, but Danielle had an answer for everything, even though she was uh, often under a lot of pressure. You know, she was able to hang in there. But Jessica threw the kitchen sink at her, man. And, you know, everything, a little bit of everything, some great wrestling even, you know, she had beautiful chokes, she had some uh, lower bo lower body attacks, and then, you know, some, some great positional advancements, and, um, and Jessa said it, right, Chase, she said, hey, people think that I'm just a gi grappler, but I'm not. Yeah, and you can see out here, she looked very comfortable and, and some brief leg lock exchanges, threw up a couple of heel hook attempts of her own that looked very good, and uh, just more or less dominated the pacing of the match. She did give up a couple takedowns, but I do believe that was in pursuit of the guillotine. Oh, she was timing it for she was sure. She was working yeah. on that, and of course, with, with uh, submission only being the rule set here, there's no risk of points. You might as well hunt for, for the head if you feel comfortable there. Yeah. So yeah, she looked amazing uh, in this matchup against someone who's very game. You know, Daniel Kelly's fight at Trials, won some matches there, fought a fight to win one matches there, and a bunch of other pro shows on the East Coast mm -hmm. and the sub-only scene over there. So for Jessica Khan to make her debut in really a pretty dominant fashion against someone like Daniel Kelly is really exciting, right? Because now the sky's the limit for her, and I'm yeah. really curious to see what she does next. Yeah, it opens up some really good matches. And when, when we asked Jess, uh, you know, what she was uh, hoping for in her next in her career, because, of course, this is the very beginning. You know, just one year ago, she was competing on the very first Who's Number One event, February 2020, in the gi as a brown belt and you know we were really honored to have her make her black belt debut here on who's number one a no gi match but of course it does open up the possibility of some really intriguing matches and she mentioned two names actually i think she mentioned uh, uh grace gundrum and also misa bastos two very very accomplished and very very respected names in that division and either of those matches for me would be amazing yeah and uh Technically, you could say Jessa already had a black belt level match before she fought in the AJP Miami, uh, I think Grand Slam, where she faced Misa while she was still a brown belt, Misa being a black belt. And it was a really dynamic, exciting match. Jessa opened up with an early flying triangle that was deep. It was super tight, but Misa yeah. showed off some grit and her experience was able to get out, get the back. And I believe she finished that match with a choke, if not on the back. But uh I would love to see that one run back and yeah. maybe even no gi. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, tons of matches there. So our prospect watch, keep an eye on Jessica Khan because this is only the beginning, believe it or not. <laughs> 19 years of age, black belt, man, sky's the limit.